another Motivation Monday. So today I'm going to share with you some tips on how to get in more veggies. All right, guys, veggies are life. If you are not getting enough vegetables, I'm going to share with you eight tips on getting different ways to add veggies and maybe you've already thought of these maybe you haven't share with me in the comments down below how do you get in enough vegetables in the day now the program that i'm following gives me four servings of vegetables a day four cups and i can eat them however i want in whatever i want and depending on your height and weight you'd be in a different bracket or maybe you'd be in the same as me but i help my clients figure out which bracket they need to follow so that they reach the maximum goals that they're trying to whether it's maintaining or losing weight um, and some people need to gain weight so you can do that too if you need to get into that bracket so it can help you no matter what your goals are if you need help with them comment down below and i will reach out to you or you can email me at madeiragreenmoments at gmail.com okay let's jump into some ways that you can add in more veggies Number one, and it's probably my favorite, is veggie-based soups. You can hide so many veggies in delicious soups. Minestrone soup is so good. All I taste are the herbs and the delicious flavor of the soup, and you don't even realize you're eating spoonfuls of vegetables. So if you have a hard time getting them in, such a good one. Number two is zucchini pasta. You can do zucchini lasagna and thinly slice the zucchini pieces to make noodles. And the zucchini is such an interesting vegetable. Before being a mom, I don't think I've ever had it. I mean, maybe we did it on like shish kebabs on the barbecue growing up, but I don't remember it being a very versatile vegetable for me growing up. Let me know in the comment section down below if you ate zucchini growing up. Maybe it was just my family. But as a grown up, I discovered this vegetable and I realized how versatile it is and it really takes on the flavor that you add to it. So if you add tomato sauce, it doesn't taste like a vegetable. It tastes like pasta to me. You can also spiralize it and I think I'm probably jumping ahead to a different one, which is number three, experiment with veggie noodles. You can you get a spiralizer and you can make it into noodles. So good. Another one is spaghetti squash and I actually prefer that one better for spaghetti noodles you there's tons of videos on how to make spaghetti squash but we just heat ours up and then fork out the noodles they literally taste like pasta i add lots of basil and oregano and italian seasoning and then really good marinara it's delicious and it is so filling and it's a great way to get in your veggies okay number four add veggies to your sauces you can take peppers and tomatoes and carrots and blend them up. You can take zucchini and blend it up and add it to sauce, even cauliflower, excuse me, and it'll just taste like the sauce. So you can find all kinds of recipes online to add those veggies to your sauce. So good, so, so good. And it's a great way to get in your veggie, right? Like you can't really taste it, but it adds some flavor to the sauce. Um, number five is make cauliflower crust pizza. Now, if you are not one to make your own cauliflower crust, I actually sell this in the grocery store now, and it's unbelievable how yummy it tastes. I was worried it was really gonna taste like cauliflower, and it doesn't, at least the ones that I've tried. Okay, number six, blend in smoothies. This is probably the first way I experimented with adding more veggies in my life, besides the soups, was smoothies. Because I've always heard um, about green smoothies. So you add a handful of spinach in and you honestly can't taste it. I do a superfood smoothie every day and I add in a little bit of um, spinach or cauliflower and you can't taste it. Note though, if you're gonna do the cauliflower, it should be frozen, not fresh. That you will taste. <laughs> And the cauliflower makes your shake super creamy and really yummy. The spinach gives it a green color, but you can't taste it if you add just like a handful in and just throw that in there. Okay, uh, number seven, add your veggies to your casseroles. If you're baking things in the oven with meats and cheese and all the fun things, add some veggies in and it'll taste delicious. Potatoes um, are a little bit starchier, but if you're thinking about green and healthy vegetables, 
carrots and zucchini, um, green beans and broccoli taste so yummy in a casserole with all the herbs and spices. And the last one is a veggie omelet. If you're gonna add some cheese and ham to your omelet, you might as well add some veggies too and get in the, that benefit. Veggies are so good for you and give you life. And if you are trying to reach health and weight loss goals, the veggies are gonna help you do that. It's, it's so good, they're so good for you. So if you have any tips on how you get more vegetables in or maybe how you hide them so that your kids will eat them more, comment down below and let me know what your tips are so we can encourage, encourage each other on the way. We're definitely in this together. So like this video if you like it, subscribe if you're not subscribed to see more videos like this one. If you need help on your health and fitness journey, definitely comment down below or you can email me, Elizabeth, or Madeira Green Moments at gmail.com. And my name is Elizabeth. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for hanging out. Bye guys.